Dr. Frank McGeorge uh, is standing by. And uh, Frank, what can you tell us from out there at Cranbrook? Well, you know, Ben, Today's eclipse brought strangers from all corners of the U.S. together. But one thing that stood out in the crowds here at the Cranbrook Institute of Science were the multiple generations of families that came here to really bond in an event that spans the ages. At Cranbrook today, it was truly an eclipse for the generations. I saw a moon in there. See? The moon. Joanne Scouten showed her granddaughter how to watch through a pinhole box. Really a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Aura Cesares brought her mom and two daughters. We experienced an eclipse in Mexico a long time ago, but I was younger than her. So I wanted, and I don't remember, so I wanted them to remember. I'm feeling really happy because I get to experience stuff that I, I, that I never experienced before. It's pretty cool to look at. These events are important to us, probably not because of the science, but because of the enthusiasm. You get uh, generational fun. Kids, grandparents, parents, all coming to take a look at something together, sometimes for the very first time. Richard Cerna came with his daughter and grandchildren. Special. I mean, it just... It, it, it makes me almost want to weep up and cry sometimes because it's never going to happen again for me. This is it. For so many families, it was a day to remember, not just for what they saw, but who they saw it with. For a four-year-old and an eight-year-old, this is a pretty spectacular day, and for us, of course. Yeah, you know... Of course, this was a wonderful event for multiple generations of any family, but don't despair if you missed out. As Ben mentioned, the next opportunity will be even closer to Detroit in 2024. And incidentally, Michael Narlock, who's the head astronomer here, he told me he has already turned in his vacation requests. Reporting live from the Cranbrook Institute of Science, I'm Dr. Frank McGeorge. <laughs> Devin and Kimberly, back to you. Because it'll be a little bit different next time around. Yeah, really so great. All right, Frank. In fact, Corey, uh, my wife Corey, uh, told me that in, in our backyard, the the birds and insects went completely silent. So we got our own taste of the... Yeah, of the, you yeah it's know. interesting to, to hear that that's, that was the reaction yeah, yeah. from the, uh, the insects and so forth. Well, uh, we saw a record number of people checking out our multiple live streams of uh, the eclipse, and you can go back and look at them if you missed it. You'll find all of our coverage right there on the homepage at clickondetroit.com.